Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. Today I am going to start a season with the Chicago Bears and we're going to play on all Madden. Few reasons that I'm inspired to do this is number one, I don't think Madden NFL 2001 gets looked at enough on the PlayStation 2 specifically as the iconic game that it was. It's not exclusive to the PlayStation 2, but these graphics with this gameplay that started off this series in this era of gaming consoles is what makes the series so special. And you, you saw with this first Madden NFL 2001 on the PlayStation 2 just how good of a game this one is and how good the series was going to be with uh, the launch of this one. What's up, Brian? What's up, Adam, in the chat? Another reason I want to start this season with the Chicago Bears is because this was at the height of me really loving the NFL and having a ton of time to play video games. And this was before you could play PlayStation 2 online. So I played through a lot of seasons in this one. Specifically, it was a launch game, first game I had. Uh, so I'd run through seasons. And I think it would be good to showcase a season with the Bears on the channel in a game that I put so much time to time into in the past. Adam says, a new draft is Saturday night. Potentially, yes. I know people have been liking the fantasy drafts, specifically in Madden. The next one I want to do is Madden 2006. And I'll, I'll just turn the QB vision off, play on all pro. But I think that one will be... A good one to do what's up Eli the wolf he says silver dome please Teddy Belcher all right so yeah I just want to showcase this Bears team so I'm gonna play on all Madden and we'll save the settings thank you Adam yes I am now the father of two girls so that happened Wednesday two days ago and I'm finally getting a moment to uh, do something that I like to do. And thank you, Eli the Wolf. And let's look at this Bears roster. It's not in settings on this one. Rosters. It's got its own highlight here on the title screen, the menu screen. So another thing Madden did so well right off the bat, and they did this in their earlier games on, you know, Super Nintendo, Genesis, N64, PlayStation, but they have ratings for a lot of different things, and I love the layout of how this looks. So let's look at the Bears. So the Bears, they had, the Bears are this team that always has a quarterback controversy, and this year was no different. Kay McNown was the young guy second year player but he had a pretty good rookie season in one that he got one of the receivers to flourish as one of the best in the league and i'll talk about him in a second so shane matthews and jim miller were also journeyman guys who got a lot of starts in the nfl and later on they got a lot of stats starts for the bears uh the halfbacks here curtis enos was a high draft pick but he didn't really work out too well James Allen actually had a few good seasons for the Bears. I think he had at least one 1,000-yard one, 1, season on the Bears. He's all right. Slow here, though. Some games have him listed as a fullback, even though he was a small running back. Uh, Glenn Milburn, he's a good return guy in this game. Don't really remember Frank Murphy. But Marcus Robinson was the receiver I was talking about. Him and Cade McNown clicked. And Marcus Robinson was like Randy Moss 2.0 for a year. Unbelievable stats, was making big catches over guys, scoring touchdowns. Ingram always a good possession receiver, and he has good ratings in this game. 93 catches, you can see. So the Bears have two good receivers. Marty Booker is the receiver that the Bears have that no one expected to be as good as he was, but he, uh, he had one season on the Bears where he had 100 catches. Eddie Kenson is a speed guy. Des White is a rookie with pretty good ratings here. Not catch-wise, but he's he's got some speed. 88 is pretty good in this Madden. 
And tight ends, no one really that notable here, but here are the tight ends. You got the offensive line, which has some classic guys. Olin Krutz was much better, better in later Maddens. This was only, you know, his third year. Chris Villarreal, James Big Cat Williams, Ryan Robinson. So he used to be really good at Madden 2001. Well, <laughs> you're the only person. We'll go back to the year 2000 and look at his highlights and also look at his stats. I had, so I had player jerseys on this team. Uh, I had Cade McNown jersey, Marcus Robinson, and also uh, Erlacher, which is a rookie in this game. Yeah, he had a huge year. Well, I'm just saying, like, right around when it happened, though, that's when Randy Moss was big. And th it was the style of their receiving. Like, Marcus Robinson could catch the ball over guys just like Randy Moss. And then he started getting injuries. What's up, Bradley? What's up, Antonio? So the ends, Brian Robinson, Mims, Philip Daniels, who was a big signing but never really played that great for the Bears. Clyde Simmons, Troy Wilson. Jim Flanagan, defensive tackle, Mike Wells, Russell Davis. Erlacher is a rookie. They wanted him to be an outside linebacker at first, but quickly quickly realized he'd be better at middle linebacker and uh, be the quarterback of the defense. Barry Minter was pretty good for the Bears, as you can see his rating here, but uh, Erlacher ended up taking this spot pretty quickly his rookie year. Warwick Holman was one of their good trio of linebackers. So was Roosevelt Colvin. He's rated pretty good, but he's very slow in the 63. That's not good for a linebacker at all. So he'll be staying on the bench for me this season. Uh, pretty good corners. Thomas Smith came over from the Bills. Terry Cousins was all right. He ended up being more like a nickel-dime guy, though. R.W. McCorders. Speedster can return. Good guy to have at nickel for sure. Walt Harris, so, and Jerry Azuma. There's no one really bad on at cornerback on the Bears. Sean Wooden, safety. I don't think he was there too long for the Bears. Tony Parrish, another good safety, was later a better player on the 49ers. And you got Mike Brown as a rookie right here. As you can see, his ratings aren't that good, but he ended up being a, a star for the Bears. Moss was the fakest show on turf. <laughs> Paul Edinger even is a rookie. The kicker with a weird windup. And the punter. And there you go. So I'm going to start this season. Play on all Madden. We'll see if I could get my muscle memory back. How I used to play this game. Back then when it was a launch game. And what's up Sean? What's up Brennan? And see if I could get these W's on all Madden. Make a Super Bowl run and get some guys in the Pro Bowl. And they do have franchise in this, but I'm only going to play one season, so I'm just going to go with season. Yep. It was. It was a launch day game. That's right, Andrew. And uh, I said at the beginning of this video, I, this one's so iconic because it kind of gets lost in the mix with the, the newer Maddens on the system. But this one was right up there competing with 2K and 2K1. I would say this game was the first football game where I'm like, this game looks unbelievable. I thought 2K looked very good as well, but this one, the player models look perfect. Not the faces, but they really looked unbelievable for the time so head right in let's work on the depth chart real quick more so the substitutions because I want to get actually let's do the depth chart first get Erlacher in that's really the main guy that I want to switch up Yeah, I would, I mean, it. it's such a good game. The thing about this one is it's just very offensive. Like, you should expect to be very uh, successful offensively. 
but that doesn't mean it's bad. There's still fumbles that happen on defense. You can still get your guys in there for interceptions. Interceptions happen. So it's just like a lot of success at off on offense, and the, the big turnovers will matter. So I thought I took Barry Minter out, but he looks like he's the second one here. So really what I'm just trying to do here is get Erlacher. I'm going to put Barry Minter at the outside linebacker and Erlacher at middle linebacker. And as the season goes on, I will be open to some trades. But I really like this Bears team, and we're going to see how they do. Way better than Madden 21. Yeah, Madden 12 is the last one. But I, I spent so much time with this game. That's why it's like I want to showcase a season on the channel. And let's just see the kick returners. I'm good with those. Thomas Smith is a little bit faster, but R.W. McCorders, he actually returned kicks. So substitutions really just... Well, there's one on offense I want to do because they have the five wide. Oh, no, on this team, they actually put Des White there. Sometimes they have the fifth wide receiver there. And did I not do the depth chart right? Why is they got Sean Harris there? Oh, I put him at right outside linebacker. That was a mistake. There we go, Erlacher in there. Used to be able to dominate with Erlacher in these games with the speed right in the middle of the field. Pretty much every football game that has the, uh, what is it, the vertical view, I'll use the middle linebacker. Sometimes the other linebackers, but the defensive end, I feel like there's just not as much to do with them. They are usable. That speed at linebacker just helps tremendously. Did I get nickel? Oh, it just looks like that. All right. Let's play this week. And this is the classic that I like. Just skip the preseason. So you, if you start a season... Did I even select the Bears, or did I just start a season and not select a team? That's interesting. Yeah, that's what I thought too, Brennan. So yeah, it doesn't seem like, do I have a team selected? Or you, is it just kind of like you go into a season like Tecmo Super Bowl and you can control different teams as you go? Because the Bears are the first one, so I guess that's why I just kind of assumed. Oh well, I think that's cool. We'll just go with that. Franchise is probably what you have to pick to go with the team. So maybe I'll, I'll not save this and I'll see if it changes things. Sorry about that. Let's see. New franchise. Racing games. The only one that I played a lot of was uh, Gran Turismo 3. Okay, so this is how you do it. So now that ties me to the Bears. Oh, sorry, I gotta do this one more time and then we'll get this game started. So I don't think these saved. Racing games, I know people like burnout games. I didn't play too many of them. YouTube instituted more restrictive TOS. Can't question election because it incites violence. Yeah, there's a lot YouTube doesn't like. And it just continues to get more and more. It's hard to keep up, really. Alright, we got Erlacher in there. Alright, let's go. 
Yeah. And a lot of the channels that I used to watch too are not on YouTube where they tell you to go to BitChute or one of these other places. Um, but YouTube, you know, because Google owns it, it's a, it's just a great video platform as far as the functionality of it. Um, that's one of the reasons why I always use this over Twitch. But yeah, if you're looking at it to spread some kind of alternative thinking, reality exploration, or truth seeking, YouTube's probably not the place to do it anymore. I didn't even see what team I was playing. Yeah, Twitch is, it's all right, you know, but it's, it's not as clean as YouTube. Greetings and welcome from EA Sports. Welcome to today's regular season game. But you remember in the old days, like, people would just have stuff bookmarked, right, and playing the Vikings. Thanks, JB. It looks like they're ready to go. A new season, a new beginning. There he is, Marcus Robinson, due to have a big game. And you know, this is a Madden 2. It's a complete game, but it's before a lot of the extras that were added later on. Most of them which were beneficial to the, the series overall. Um, but obviously 06 is when I think they just got too wacky with it, the QB vision. Truck stick was fun in 2006, but I think it's overpowered. Honestly, because you, you couldn't really break tackles like that in earlier Maddens on PS2 unless they had a really good break tackle rating. Another thing that I like in this version is just a very simple kicking meter. Just one press. It's like Tecmo Super Bowl. Bar goes up, you press it. That's it. Bithead 1000 and right is all I watch on YouTube. Yeah, there's still some channels I do watch on YouTube. There you go, Moss. I got a recorded the tackle with Erlacher. So when I had this game and played these seasons back then, I was very serious about getting all the tackles with Erlacher. Another thing I like about this game is the font that they used under the player name and in the menus. I don't know. I just, I like it. I think it looks good. Uh, I hope that's on them. K now greater than Dante Culpepper. Yeah, you know, they just, obviously it's not true, but they just go by what kind of season the guy had the year before. Final corrupt, that sucks. I'm hoping that uh, when I go to save this that I have enough room on the memory cards. That's the nicer thing about using Xbox is you don't need to mess with the memory cards. Just use the hard drive. Boom. Two, two channels with their lacquer. Oh, this channel and Bithead. Well... I'm I'm glad some of you stick around on YouTube as this is one of the channels that you view. I greatly appreciate that. I don't see me trying to navigate to anything else. I do have a Twitch channel. But we used that more for when we were doing the live tournaments and we needed a second stream. Jake Reed on the Vikings. Yeah. Those are some good teams. The Vikings always had good receivers. Let me just check. I did switch it to all Madden. I just want to check because they just went three and out. Yep, it is on all Madden there. Back to the game. The Vikings will punt it But you here. can't forget these old ones. You know, it's still why people go back and play NFL 2K, 2K1. Oh. 
has a little bit different feel. The players don't move as swift, but it's it's fluid gameplay. It's not like it's choppy or anything. They just move a little bit slower. So if I do make trades in this season, it definitely will be to look at a different running back. Curtis Enos never really worked out for the Bears or in the NFL at all. And that run was about seems about right with the, how the Bears would use him. Ninety-eight Vikings had the number one offense in the league. They went to the conference title games. Oh yeah, against the Falcons they lost. Yeah. Vikings were definitely the more popular team there. All right, so helmets pop off in this one. Can't forget that. I don't think that last. Oh, that wasn't a helmet pop off, but I'm pretty sure they do. Oh yeah, we need to get that fixed. Because the cool thing about my cousin Sean is he his top two sports are really baseball and hockey and mine are basketball and f and football so that's a good mix of you know someone who has knowledge in the sports that I'm weaker on I do know a lot about baseball though from that time period I just after about 2005 or so I, I didn't really watch baseball seriously Curtis Enos autograph. There you go. Well, that didn't work out. Yes, yes. Got a second daughter now. But yeah, Bradley, that that drove me crazy as well. I didn't didn't watch the whole thing because of the the echo. So I'll have him work on that. What's up, Mikola? All right, Eddie Kennison. This one you have to hit the uh, X bucket button twice to get the icons up, which is annoying. All right, I'm going to go to one of my go-tos in this game. Uh, I'll just try a slant. Well, moving the ball a little bit. Sometimes they do make those one-handed catches, but not here. 50-yard line, uh, 13 to go. I'll pin them back. Number 14 awaits the snap. Well, that's a pretty bad punt, but good thing I'm right at midfield. Alright, so not much offense, even though I was saying this is more offensive game. Ball on their own 17. Oh, oh Chris Carter with the one-hander. There's a lot of one-handed catch animations in this. Chris Carter is a very good possession wide receiver. Let's take another look at that deep pass. Which, you know, in some situations, they kind of drive you nuts. There, he was wide open. I don't really care. Yeah, the Bears did have a great defense. They tried to put a quarterback with it when they trade for Cutler. And Cutler was pretty good, but in his biggest moment, he got injured and against the Packers NFC Championship, and that was it. <laughs> wish for a channel like this thanks Jonas that's actually why I kind of started this channel myself is I would I would know about you know the retro gaming youtubers and I noticed they didn't know much about sports games so then I'm searching literally in the search chat or the search bar on YouTube retro sports gamer because I'm like who who plays sports games I'm like 
who is the retro sports gamer because usually you find anything you search on the internet like someone's already thought of it and there was no one on YouTube and so I was like all right well there's an opportunity for me to start this then because no one's out here legitimately playing only retro sports games uh, there, there's definitely some channels that would try to review them but more just for to get the clicks on YouTube because once you listen to them they might be fluid in their speaking but you could tell they don't know jack about the game that they're playing I would agree with that I was not a fan of the second uh, signing of Jay Cutler. If they would have just let him go when they traded for him after, you know, the the defense started splitting up, it would have been fine, but when they re-signed him and the Bears were horrible to watch because they had no one on the team. Jonas Beginnings. So is it called Beginnings or is Jonas the platform? So they're getting down the field pretty good here. I got Pro Bowl aspirations though and that wasn't a good start in the first quarter. <laughs> Hit him in the back. The thing that's different about this game though versus other football games that you would play before it's like the animations weren't clean with catching or just a lot of things on the field like the ball would just like automatically go to the player and then the icon below their name would light up like this game is one of the first ones where you could really see the clean animations of them catching the ball or hitting them off the back I know NFL 2K was also the big one there on the Dreamcast. Oh, you were saying jo Jonas. Okay. Okay, I'll take a look at beginnings. But I think, like, the best way to do a YouTube channel is just start something that you're interested in and don't don't really expect much traction at first specifically because this channel has been going now I want to say five and a half years and people are just finding it he was out of bounds I think the quarterback just let that one get away Play 2K2 and Madden 02. 2K is slightly better game than Madden 02. Uh, I can, I can get on board with that, but it really, to me, depends on what you prefer. And here comes the kicking unit. I think overall, we're not just talking about gameplay. Madden did the ratings right. Um. The music, the commentary is better in Madden. The graphics are better in Madden. Uh, but gameplay wise, the animations are probably better in 2K. And then Madden, once you find some plays that really work for you, you can go back to them and they work more often than not. Which the good thing about me going into this season the plays are a little bit different from the Bears playbooks later, and I kind of forgot which plays were the best for me. Boom. Crushed. I think it's time to uh, give Marcus Robinson a shot. Double covered. That safety came over a little late. Doesn't matter. Like I said, more offensive game. That stuff will happen. 
will drive you nuts, especially when you have the coverage right. But hey, I'm playing on all Madden. So that one I threw before his route even was close to getting there. But the blitz was coming in. And the receivers are really good in this about making an adjustment to anything. But sometimes the quarterback just throws it wherever he feels like it. That was one of those times and it worked out. Almost there. It's one of the catch animations you see a lot in this one where they just twist back to try to catch it. I'm growing, since I've done some fantasy drafts on Madden 02, I'm growing to like that game more than I thought. It's definitely better than, than this one as far as the balance. That was almost a one-handed catch by... Yours truly, Marcus Robinson. Madison's open. So this is one of those things, these corner routes. Touchdown, Eddie Kennison. If you can hit it to a receiver that's got some speed, which in 92 speed and Madden in 2001 is fast, these uh, these guys aren't gonna catch him. The speed, also, one thing I'll say, up until Madden 2003, the speed of the players is very true. Whereas a 92 speeder is not catching up to a 97 speed guy, even when it means like on a passing play where they have to make a break on the ball. Uh, once, once you got to 2004, that's when they really started messing with that. So then that one, Kennison was open. No one was behind him. And these Vikings defensive players are just not fast enough to catch up. I was going to go to the tight end, but then I saw the drag across. We'll see if they go into a two-minute. Two-minute warning. Do not throw it. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes it looks like they're going a little slow into their animation break. And in Madden 2001-2002, you can't look at your defensive alignment. 2003 is the one that added that. So that might have been my man assignment. I forgot if I did a zone or man on that one, but just recognized it too late. It might be open again. Going four wide, we're going dime. That's why in these first two Maddens, it's easier to play zone because you know exactly what your assignment is. Man, defense, you can get lost on who you're supposed to be covering sometimes. If you get really used to the speed of this game, you can start to make some interceptions. I'm glad he reached out with one hand because he looked open to me. Got Todd Berger kicking one back. NBA Ballers, I was just asked about that. I played it. Um, I would say that given the concept and the fact that it's not really that original because they copied everything off NBA Street, 
It's not one of my favorites, but I think if you like one-on-one game play and you like NBA Street, then it's done. It's well done. So I'd give it like at a 6 out of 10 maybe. I'm A few people said that NBA Ballers Phenom has two-on-two -two option, which I'm interested in checking out. I do have that game. So I'll be playing that soon to explore it. It'll be another first impression video because, like I said, I only played the NBA Ballers on PS3 casually once. Sometimes you can't go wrong with the streak routes and good old Madden. Another thing I love about Cade McNown in this one is he's 70 speed, so he is a scrambler. He, he did have some mobility. I think his early comparisons were like to Steve Young, which obviously he was not that. But And there I tried to run as I was talking about it, and I got smacked. Who love Metallica? Did you just find them or something? Oh, Marcus Robinson had double coverage. So I got one timeout left, so I'm just going to go with the big heave. I got Enos back for blocking. And if I can make it, I'll probably just go for a field goal. We'll see. And the defense is there. Swarmed. Still a lot of punts. Maybe all Madden has something to do with that. I think if I would re was really trying to mess with them, oh, big fumble. Nope, never mind. I would be throwing more corner routes. Let me see if I can record one more tackle with Erlacher. Oh, oh, I couldn't get it. Got spun around. Well, low scoring first half. I don't remember the All Madden on this one being extremely difficult. Obviously, they only scored three points. And we're back. We're ready to start the second half of play. It doesn't really feel cheap on All Madden. Some of the later ones definitely feel like you're getting screwed over on catches and stuff. Milburn's the guy I want this to go to because he's got the extra speed. The Bears will start this drive from the 19. The thing is, do I even run with Enos? Like, he's so slow. I'm going to see if I can get the time to throw to Des White here. This play works a lot if you get the time to actually throw it, which I don't have. Because my left tackle got pancaked. Let me try it one more time. Hopefully they don't bring a blitz. It really wasn't open. Tried to hit Ingram. As I play through a season with this, it'll probably mess me up that I have to hit X twice, but that's okay. I'll make the adjustment. There he is. I told you, the Randy Moss of the Bears. Man's about to... He just gave him a... Big compliment right there. <laughs> he 
mean it. As soon as he makes contact, he just goes down. Back to the line of scrimmage. No more. It reminds me of kind of how he played on the Bears. Because they would just run him up the middle. They'll be expecting him to break some tackles, and then it just wouldn't happen. Man, he took forever to come back. In later Maddens, that probably would have been a pick, but this Madden awards the offense. I love those graphics that pop up in this game. Look clean, smooth, three yards. Little out to Eddie Tennyson. Holds on to it. I really want to try to get some rushing yards. I'm going to try to run McNown again. Hopefully it doesn't end in a fumble, which Madden... That happens in these Madden games a lot. Oh, it, was like a it was like a fake blitz. Oh, well. I'll run when it's there. I'm not going to plan on doing it anymore. Well, it's a slow running back like Enos, passing. Eddie Kennison's the star in this one. He's Pro Bowl bound. I don't know. What do you guys think of this kicking meter? Where it's just simple one press in the arc. Like, do you think they ever needed to change that? Oh, this Chicago Bears team is locked, loaded, and ready for a Super Bowl. Golden Tate. So we'll see if there's some rubber banding of the AI here and they make a comeback. They certainly have the talent at receiver to make the comeback. Culpepper, pretty good stats. There's your guy, there's Randy. I remember with Erlacher, there's certain plays where I would go for blitzes. This is one of them. Ball on the 49 yard line. Gotta get sacks. To try to make the pro bowl. We're moving now. Still with only negative one passing yard. He's looking to throw. Throws it out over the middle. Yeah, Tony Parrish. That's last line of defense safety. Your strong safety missing a tackle like that. I didn't go with the conservative defense those last two calls and burned me. The extra point attempt is good. See, maybe they'll give one to R.W. McCorders here. So for the guys that are in here, what would you like to see more on the channel of, of the type of videos that we do? I know the recently the fantasy drafts have been more of a hit. We'll get back to some more live events this year. Obviously, it's probably not going to be as much as previous years, but the goal is to get some of that back. My goal is at least one 
live one a month. McNown sets up. Defense showing blitz. <laughs> I, you know, you know when the buttons are pressure sensitive. I tapped it there and it like lolly popped it over. You don't want to drop those passes that are sure first down. I don't think I got Marty Booker. No, I haven't been watching the NFL at all. Mike Price saying he would rather see later Madden 05. NCAA 04 06. A lot of people like those later ones. My, f my favorite wheelhouse of Madden NCAA is the 2003 games. I have to play NCAA 4 a little bit more to give my full opinion on that because it's been a while. They're having a hard time with this corner play. 06 I have. Haven't played much of it. Might have played it on the channel once before. I was surprised to see that the NFL added uh, two teams to the playoffs. What do I think about the Capitol getting stormed? Honestly, I think it was uh, staged. I don't think <laughs> a building like that with that kind of security would uh, just let people in. But I really wasn't paying attention to any of it that day. But I think it's just, you know, to make people who want peaceful freedom look bad. You know. It's, oh man, Robert Smith is wide open, horrible tackling. And that's what happens in this version. What's up, Sony? I think moving on, like for me, this year specifically, I'm just not going to pay attention to the media or the government much at all anymore and just take everything at face value not at face value but as it approaches me like in person like is this going to affect me in person because a lot of it's just driving hysteria in the mind for people to act differently alright back to the football talk Our dubs, sometimes you take that path, you can break it open for a kick return, but uh, let's try Enos once, just give him something. Plays a safety, help with the coverage, that's not bad. I mean, I, oh my goodness, and so many... I could just use the middle linebacker for that since I have Erlacher. He's so fast. He's just as fast as a safety, faster than at least half of them. That, and he's got less responsibility. So that's kind of how I do it. Oh, I didn't see that safety come over. Maybe he got held up in the line because their timing was really off on that pass. But the thing is, it's like with this game, it's it's still good. It's obviously not as polished as later Maddens. They just don't guard Eddie Kennison. And when you talk about precision passing, that's what you mean. I'm just kind of curious to see how a quick screen will work out. Back 
Not well. He swatted that one down. Yeah, just stick your Three four play zone down. with their lacquer. Yeah, that's that's another good idea. Could put Roosevelt Colvin in, he's pretty good. McNown with the throw on the move. Alright, come on. I don't even trust Curtis Enos right now to get this first down and going fullback run. And it works. Let's see if I can find a counter in their playbook. Here's one. I don't want Curtis Enos to end the game at negative rushing yards, which might happen. Oh, every time it's a loss. This is not going to help his uh, trade value. Get a t TD every time. Well, that might be the case against the computer, but obviously if you're playing man, man on man, for sure it's a thing. Like I said, this is the most offensive Madden of any of them on the PS2. But if you're prepared to play that, and you know that the fumbles and the interceptions will happen from time to time, then... It's not that bad. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, he caught it. Oh, you brought. What's up, Brock? You. How is it? Let's go. Fullback dive. Oh, we're already down to the two minute warning. This is a big play here. Oh my goodness, he fumbled it. <sighs> okay, I'm bringing all out blitz. Not a flex blitz, fireman. Let's try to get a safety. Yep, those things are... It looks like the videos I've watched where people put them together. Not so much for the safety. Not, I can't believe. Never mind. I played a game, the fantasy draft I did in 2005, all stock fumble on the one like that. Yeah, Mike, I can agree with that. In 04, they juiced the player ratings. I've found out more recently doing deep fantasy drafts. Uh, which gives less variation to the players, which I don't like. But by 05, they fine tune the gameplay. Where 04, I feel like it's very defensive. Oh Memory lane, yes, that's right, Funky Flights, the launch special. I'm not recording the tackles that I want with Erlacher in this game. They're just cruising on the field now. Moss with six. All right, I got to be setting the dime now. The goal, oh, that's not going to be good enough. I want to double the slot. It was a dramatic leap from anything else that Madden had on the other systems. Oh, get it. Oh, man. Throw me a bone here. 
A lot of people say that ESPN NFL 2K5 is the best ever. I won't argue with them. I mean, Tecmo Super Bowl is my favorite game, but com in comparison to, like, simulating actual football, I mean, <laughs> it's not. It's not, so... If that's the best for you, I, I would definitely say it's 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 one of the best. Yeah, McNabb on the cover. Of that one. Oh, I do that. Oh, I have to call timeout. Tennyson's a player of the game. Oh, that was a score. Oh, I just wasted a timeout. I didn't even. They didn't even say touchdown. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even really care about Madden on the PS1. Or N64, for that matter. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. With a great library of all these Madden games, I definitely don't feel the need to even go out and purchase the new ones. Guess if you you'd play seasons with friends online and stuff, I could I could definitely see it. Or you just love football that much, but a lot of people don't like the game. Oh, what a deep bomb! One-handed. I gotta use this timeout. Like I said, I'm gonna take advantage of this being a. Offensive game. They screwed me over with that fumble. Maybe that was an all Madden special. Alright. I'm gonna go hurry up. Smell OT. Yeah, I might have to do that, right? Get in. Still got one timeout, so. And the defense was waiting to pounce on it. Oh, where's that? That three wide set. Wait. If I could find the right play, I think I could score. But I already forgot where it is. Maybe it's in a single back. I just want that little out to Eddie Kennison. But I don't think I'm gonna find it, so I'm gonna try the play that takes a while to develop. And it takes way too long. Oh man, I couldn't find the right play. The thing I like too, even though you're playing on all mad and it doesn't really make the kicking meter harder. No wind. Rookie Paul Edinger. We'll see who gets the toss. That might determine who wins this. QB club. That was better graphics, I felt like, on for a while. 2K5. Knowing... The sprint on the game, you have to tap X instead of just holding. Oh, I won the toss. All right. I remember thinking the graphics were good on the commercials, but I never really got the QB clubs back then. Alright, 
let's see if I can make this happen. All right, cool, Felipe. Let's see if I can win this. I went to the bread and butter play. See, the thing is, they just couldn't guard this play all game. Just a quick corner route, Eddie Kennison. And he had four touchdowns. <laughs> he was already player of the game. That'll wrap this one up. And the final score is Chicago 30, Minnesota 24. And we played on all Madden. Another game of Madden NFL 2001. See you next time. 499. Jeez, Cade McNown threw for 507. <laughs> He's going to the Pro Bowl too. Yeah, I was very invested in this game, too, as an individual. Also playing other people, you know, because this was like, dude, you got to come see this game. It's amazing. And since this was one, the only system, really, that I pre-ordered, didn't get it launch day because it was hot commodity, but got it a week later. Thank you, Antonio. Yeah, I went back to the to the well on the Eddie Kennison play. And even on All Madden, they can't figure it out. So let me attempt to save this. And I'll just title it Bears. Dub Bears. And the plan is I'm off for like three weeks to mix in this season here and there. So I'll be playing the entire season. So if you're a fan of Madden 2001 and you want to see the gameplay, I'm going to talk good about it. I think it's a good game, but obviously there's uh, it's very offensive, but it's still fun. And that's going to do it for right now. Thank you, everyone, for watching. This is EA Sports Madden NFL 2001. Still an iconic game in my mind, which is why I wanted to put it on here on display. And we'll see if we can get guys in the Pro Bowl, win the Super Bowl on all Madden. So thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Stay free. And we'll see you next time.